How are you guys doing today? Today I want to talk about what I believe is the five top credit card mistakes people do with their credit cards. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. My name is Jay and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector. Now I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. I've done it all from skip tracing to collecting to management and I've owned two debt collection agencies. For the past eight years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family for questions regarding debt and credit and now I wanna be that person for you. If you have any questions, pin them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. Let's go. I can't stress to you guys how grateful I am that an idea that I had with regards to as a debt collector, how I decided to, to start putting this information out there to help people out. I'm so excited about all of those of you who have subscribed to this YouTube channel and have liked videos. Share with your friends and family, like the videos more and more so that more and more people can get this information. I've dealt with so many people with regards to credit cards in general. I think one of the biggest mistakes out there is what people do with their credit cards. The number one thing that I always try and stress to every single person is use your credit cards like your debit cards, right? Only spend what you have in the bank so that that way you can pay the credit card off. Nevertheless, let's get into these top five credit card mistakes that I see all the time. Number one, closing your credit cards. I've stressed this before in other videos, when you close your credit cards, not only do you hurt your utilization, which is the amount of credit that you use from the total credit amount that you have, but you deduct your credit amount. For instance, if you had $15,000 in credit cards, you had a $5,000 credit card, you decided to close that credit card for whatever reason, now you're down to $10,000 worth of credit. And your utilization, depending on what you've spent on that $10,000, most likely has increased, right? So I always tell people, try your best not to close out accounts. Get disciplined. One of the main reasons why people close out accounts is because they're not disciplined. You have to get disciplined and like I always state, use your credit cards like debit cards. Number two, paying late. When you have a due date on a credit card, it's very, very important, your payment history that you pay on time. Even if it's the minimum balance, you're better off paying that than not paying at all or paying late. Because late payments ding your credit and drops your FICO score. And you don't want to be looked at as a person who's not reliable. So make sure you're making your payments on time. Number three, letting your card get charged off. Now, with credit card debt in general, typically it takes about six months. If you go six months without paying it, it's charged off and sent to collections, right? Charge off a lot of times the, 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 the thought process is, is, well, it was charged off. So I don't owe it anymore. No, it was sent to collections, you actually owe it. Or another thing you may see is P&L, which is profit and loss, which means that the creditor wrote it off as a profit and loss, yet and still you as a consumer, you still owe on it. Don't allow accounts to go to be charged off and not to be paid. You're better off contacting the creditor and figuring out what you can do with regards to getting it paid, getting the account paid off and it's not showing that it's been charged off. Number four, making the minimum payment. Now, if you have your card charged utilization 90% or higher, 80% or higher, anything typically over 50% or higher, and you're only making the minimum payments, not only are you paying interest, majority of that money is going towards interest, barely is hitting the principal balance of your um, balance on your credit card, it's just looked at bad making minimum payments, try and make larger payments, try and use the credit cards like debit cards. You're gonna hear this probably a lot. Number five, maxing out your credit card. Leaving that maxed out balance on that credit card. When you max out your credit card, you look that's risky. A lot of times, I've seen people max out their credit cards, 
pay the minimum payments for a year or two, then all of a sudden pay off a large portion of the card to only see your credit limit dropped because they didn't trust what it is that you're doing. Those are the five step, five things that I would recommend, the top five credit card mistakes that I would recommend you never ever do. Um, obviously making the minimum payments, that's better than no payments, but if you can avoid these five things, I would recommend that you do that with regards to your credit cards. Ultimately, like I always state, use your credit cards like debit cards. Put down in the comment section, what does that mean? Or if you understand what I say when I say use your credit cards like debit cards. If you have any questions about credit or debt, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. And as always, you be great.